Now before we start, what I've done is just uh, sketched out what we're given here. This ball then is projected an angle of 40 meters per second at an angle theta to the horizontal from this point P. And at Q then, this is the maximum height, 12 meters above P. And P is 36 meters above this ground here. So first of all then we've got to work out what this angle theta is. And to do a question like this we need to think about splitting this velocity of 40 meters per second into two components. One will be horizontal and the other one will be vertical. Now the horizontal one contains the angle theta so it's going to be 40 cos theta. So we'll mark that in as 40 cos theta and that'd be meters per second. And the vertical one, because it doesn't contain the angle theta in this right angle, will be 40 sine theta. So we'll just pop that in there, 40 sine theta. And now that we've got that, what we've got to do is consider the vertical motion, the vertical motion between P and Q. So let's just write that in, tell the reader what we're going to do, and that is consider then the vertical motion, I'll just call it vert, okay, vertical motion from P to Q. And we build up a SUVAT based equation, SUVAT. Now we know what S is, well first of all though we've got to select a positive sense because that will affect displacement S and all these other variables. So it's good practice to take the initial direction of projection as the positive sense. So it's projected upwards, so we'll take upwards as the positive sense. So S, the displacement going from P to Q, will be plus 12, or just simply 12, 12 meters. I'll leave off the units, okay? U, the initial velocity, well again it's upwards, it's in the positive sense, so it'll be 40 sine theta. As for V, the final velocity at Q, well in the vertical sense it's going to be zero because it's going to come to instantaneous rest. And the acceleration, well that acts downwards, so it's going to be in the negative sense. It's acceleration due to gravity, g, so that would be minus 9.8. As for the time it takes to go from P to Q, well we don't know that, so we're not really interested in that. So we're looking for an equation then that connects SUV and A together, and that equation has to be V squared equals u squared plus 2as. So I'll say using v squared equals u squared plus 2as. What do we have? Well v is going to be 0, so it's 0 squared, well that's 0, equals u squared, that's 40 sine theta, and that's all squared, plus 2 times the acceleration, which is minus 9.8, times s, which is 12. And if we work this out, this term here comes to minus 235.2. So if we add that to both sides, we end up with 40 sine theta, all squared, equals 235.2. Now I'm going to take the square root of both sides, and therefore we would have 40 sine theta, equals the square root of 235.2 and if we do that we end up with well you could actually just leave that like that actually so we'll just say divide by 40 and we get therefore sine theta equals the root of 235.2 divided by 40 might as well do all the calculations in one go so if we inverse sine both sides, theta equals the inverse sine then of the root of 235.2, all divided by 40 there.
Well, if you do that on your calculator anyway, what you get is that theta equals 22.544 and so on. And if we give this angle to, say, one decimal place, well, that would be 22.5 degrees to 1 dp. Okay, so I hope that's given you some idea then how we can get this angle theta just by considering that vertical motion. Make sure you set up your positive sense and stick to it throughout. All right.